okay hello everyone today uh, we are going to talk about integration procedure and how this integration procedure can expose as a rest api so typically in salesforce omni studio uh, we can expose an integration procedure using uh, get so we can retrieve some data like contact account or asset or any 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 object data or we can use some post action to uh, update something uh, using in, in the using integration procedure so the the major difference between get and post is uh, I mean we can use inline values and query parameter in both of the scenario but we cannot pass any JSON data to get and while we can do it in post so in this video uh, we are going to target about get action and then upcoming video we are going to talk about the post action we will be using some sample examples and uh, then we will be targeting uh, how can we retrieve the value uh, using a workbench and you can use uh, uh, postman as well in case of uh, uh, you are having postman uh, as an api call so let's talk about more so whenever you wanted to use uh, any integration procedure first you need to create one integration procedure and then you can use a base you whenever you wanted to give some someone to uh, that this is my api which you can consume it and you can typically uh, provide that path so you need to provide the base url path so this base url will be your salesforce base url then the namespace will be coming to your uh, org uh, thing that if, if it is a uh, velocity insurance or cmt or omni studio app so that's the namespace you need to provide here and then the integration procedure type and subtype will be coming as a value so i'll be uh, giving you that example so let's go and uh, create one integration procedure so i'll be coming to or this is new integration procedure get api demo type we can do it as a demo mm. and subtype can be used as a so sub api rest get api this vip will be used in demo and save it once this will be saved what we are going to do we are using some set value here so we can set value name get it as a name as a hulk and we'll providing some response i can check it as an full response just to test right now so we'll execute it save this is loading so this is coming so what i'm going to do i'm take the set values and i'm passing to my response so in response output data and this is set values which i'm going to pass i will not return in a full date response now you can see my data is coming as a name and hulk so this is what i have done as a uh, components using the set value now you can use your data after to get some value from another object and you could pass it in your response action here so it's up to us whatever the things which you wanted to do here in in this uh, in this framework and then that will be exposed as a api now i will save this one and i'll activate this version now i need to start my workbench so i'm going to start workbench now this uh, ip has been 
creator so we'll take the type and its subtype if you go back to our things so of the, the base url we are already logged in using the workbench and then we will go to the utility then rest explorer and then we'll put the that particular path here so what i'm going to do so my the cmt now version one now i'm going to put demo underscore subtype is it this one now we will execute it all right so this is our path base path so i'll keep it here and in next one i can keep it like this is what we are doing right now this is our main url which we are trying to see now i'll execute it it should give me some values yeah just see right now this is the outcome which i am getting right now now there are a couple of more things which we can do it we have talked about that we can do the inline query and uh, provided that inline query value so what we are going to do that we will provide this two values in our inline query so inline query can be used like this and this too. so these are the value which you can give it give it to your integration procedure and how it can be utilized in and where these values will be coming that i am going to show you what what first we will do we will append these values in our uh, we will execute it so now again we are getting the same response but we need to understand that where those values are going to come to us correct then only uh, we can take those values uh, as in line query and then we can utilize in our data adapter or integration procedure so uh, what we will do we will go back to our integration procedure again i will deactivate the same integration procedure now i will take the entire this data response and then we will show you that what that value is about to, where that value will be coming and then where uh, and how we can use it so i'll activate again this is activated now again we will be executing this one so see now i will take these values i will use my json beautifier and we'll see so this is the main response which we were passing previously now this is what happening so normally the value which is coming in your option so the if you see right now the path one is giving you the apple value correct and path so this is the main point where we need to understand that path one and path two where you can utilize this inline queries values now there is one more thing which we have talked about that can we give something here like So if I close it like this and if I file execute, let's see what is going to come. I will take again this one. Now, if you see right now, the last value it has used as an ID. If I defy again, so if you see the path one and path path two are having the value. So what we can do it, we can take this as an in your options, and path one and path two, and we can respond back to your uh you know in, in your data so we will try to do that thing let's see we'll go again back to your integration procedure we will deactivate this one again go to the response or we'll go to the in our set value add new value value one So what I have done, I have taken the option path one and the value one parameter. Now we will activate this one, and let's see whether that will work or not. Now I will again execute this one. So 
so it's not coming right now but we need to check i mean these are the values where we need to find that how that value can be utilized even you can provide um uh, like name equals to um let's say hulk demo so this this can also be used by so see the, it is giving you that in, uh, outcome so you can use directly this name value also and you can see that how that value can be applied let me check once again yeah so all right my bad uh this is not capital o if you look at right now the json distance is it's a small option so i will take copy it from here and then i will paste it here and then options of path two which we can take it so we can retrieve those values and we can use in your data raptor so you can create one data raptor here you can pass it this value and value two and then you can i will not returning the whole data right now and uh, i was trying here so i will remove this one so now i uh, will activate this one now now let's see what's the outcome it's activated and then we will execute it you see right now the value is coming value 1 and value 2 which we can retrieve it with whatever the value we are sending you can use this one as an also as a parameter which which is coming as a part of option which here so you can directly retrieve that name and you can pass it as a key value to your uh, data raptor so this is a way you can expose one uh, integration procedure uh, use some data raptor calculations put some response actions put some framework here if response action is coming send this value if response is it sends send some value so you can create your integration procedure and expose this as an api to that